before I start this video this is the database I'm using I'm using a large database with Africa Europe North America Asia Oceania and South America loaded with the current international players ticked players from top division clubs ticked and players with continental reputation ticked hello everyone Jamie here from FM Scout today we are on the final episode of this mini series on top 10 free transfers in FM 18 based on current ability via Genie Scout the last one is the strikers the one you've all been waiting for so let's get straight into it the first striker the highest current ability striker is Mirko everybody knows who this guy is 33 years old could still do a job in the Premier League has got great dribbling great crossing finishing is good as well he's got good technique good vision this guy could definitely do a job he, I mean he was in the UAE last season 29 appearances 27 goals in that league as you can see by his career milestones as well he's definitely worth a shot I mean if you could get this guy in, in the championship it might be a long shot but it's going to be absolutely fantastic in terms of the club is wanted by so he is wanted by a lot of teams at the moment so you, you could definitely try this and I reckon you could get him even a lower league using him as backup in the Premier League could be a shout right the next one is Abadazarak I'm sorry I've absolutely battered that name this guy is looks pretty impressive if I'm honest with you he's 26 years old from Morocco he has got pretty good finishing sit at 16 he's got good off the ball skills his physicals are very good as well and most of his mentals are pretty good also so this guy again was in Qatar last season and he 23 appearances 21 goals he obviously he was there for two years he must have got released or left he is wanted as well but again if you can if you're in England um, are you going to get a work permit for him? He could play in the Premier League, I reckon, as a backup player, possibly. If you can get this guy in the Championship, though, he's going to score a lot of goals for you. Moving on to number three, which is Wellington. So, Wellington, Suarez, which you can call him that at the moment. He's He looks okay. He's 30 years old. I don't think you could get this guy in the Premier League, though. I think uh, at a push, I reckon, Championship. I mean... The only good thing that he's got really is off the ball. His technique's okay as well and his bravery, but apart from that, he's got okay pace and acceleration, so he's pretty fast. He's got good finishing as well, which is 14, so nothing to tempt me to the Premier League, but the Championship, I reckon he could do a decent job in the Championship. Uh, number four, kind of a fallen legend really on this FM, or not this FM, but over the last coming FMs is Rossi so he is out with crucial ligament injury for three to four months so that might stop you getting him in the first place but if you go down the line and he's still available in January as you can see he's still got absolutely fantastic stats and with 16 finishing and 17 first touch his potential ability must be a little bit higher than what he currently is because no way Wellington or the other guys that I've shown you is better than this guy so there's got to be a reason here if you can keep this guy fit is determined to keep looking for a new club. He's not had a club um, since Celta de Vigo last season where he scored four goals. Um, but, I mean, if you can somehow get this guy in the championship, I don't know, based on his like rep, he might not go to the championship. But, no, he it, it could be a great signing for somebody. The next one is Armando Villa, number five in the list. This guy is from Ecuador, 32. Very, very average. Um, definitely championship quality. Even league, even league one possibly, if you could get in there. But he's got 16 natural fitness. Apart from that, there's not really much else to talk about with that guy. And this, number six is Federico Nieto. This guy is also very average as well by the looks of it. Only a finishing of 12, 33 years old as well. He is one to buy a few clubs. He's got decent, um, decent mental stats and okay physical stats as well. But by the looks of this, is wanted by a lot of Argentine um, Argentina teams. So no, that's um, that's Federico. The next one is Mario Rondon in Colombia or Ecuador, maybe. Oh no, I was wrong completely. Venezuela. So this guy looks a little bit better than the previous two I've just shown you. So this guy is wanted as well by a few clubs by the looks of it. If it lets me load it. It's annoying me how it's going up and down, so I don't know who they are. Someone Chinese, maybe. Um, but yeah, dribbling of 14. Um, very good overall. A very good championship player, I'd say. I reckon he can make it in the championship. Apart from that, there's not really much else to talk about. Christos is the next guy. So Christos, I've, I think he's Greek. Uh, maybe. Yes. So this guy is a 30-year-old Greek guy. 
got a finishing of 13, determination of 18, so that helps a lot, especially in the lower leagues, if you can get him in League 1 on the Championship. Uh, determination, like I say, 18. Aggression, 16. Work rate is very good as well. Men uh, physical stats are okay. Uh, but this guy could be a great, great signing for somebody. And the ninth one is Mike Tem. I'm going to call him Mike Tem. He is a free agent, obviously. 35 years old from Zimbabwe. I mean, if you are really struggling, I would come to this guy. But apart from that, there's not really anything good to say about this guy. Apart from his strength, his stamina, and his natural fitness is good. Uh, he's got a decent finishing as well at 14. But apart from that, there's not really much else. And the number 10 is Juan Ignacio Duma. Completely butchered that name. Um, this guy has got 9 finishing. He can play on the on the wings as well. He is from Argentina. 14 acceleration, 14 pace. But like I say, it's number 10 for a reason because he is not that good for the Premier League if you are in the Premier League and you're looking. And that wraps it up for the free transfers. I've shown you a list of all the free transfers, the best free transfers available on FM18. Thank you very much for watching. Any comments, any, any feedback, please pop it in the description below. If you do want me to check someone out or you want me to do another kind of mini-series like this based on younger players with potential, please do let me know in the comments. Apart from that, it's been a pleasure. Jamie out.